So if you've been using YouTube for a decent amount of time and are over the age of about 10 or 11, you may remember channels such as Super Minecraft Kid and Sammy Classic Sonic Fan, which were these somewhat, some of them were trolls, some of them weren't. There were these channels where people would make over the top reactions about the most minute things. For example, the big one that a lot of people remember is Sammy Classic Sonic Fan. Uh, he was this, he, he doesn't make videos anymore like this, but he still is out there. And I don't, I'm pretty sure this was genuine, unlike most of them. Um, or most channels like uh, Sammy Classic Sonic Fan. Essentially, he would just go on there and yell about things like relating to Sonic, whether it be bad Sonic games, people who hated Sonic games. There isn't really a good way I can think of to describe it. You kind of just have to watch it yourself. Uh, but you've probably seen the clip of uh, Sammy saying some interesting things about hating on Sonic. But if you're wondering why I'm bringing this up again in 2021, going into 2022, what is honestly at this point becoming a relic of the internet, this type of uh, content, is because it still does exist in some Frankenstein form, or like it still exists and people seem to make videos about it. So this channel that I'm going to be pointing to doesn't make these videos, he just kind of covers them. And he makes videos about people like that vegan teacher and uh, just a bunch of Darman videos and just strange, strange things. <laughs> For example, one of the latest videos I'm seeing in his uh, uploads is a video called, quote, end quote. So, uh, so this channel's name is Pancho and he makes videos just talking about this and kind of dissecting this and... I, that's the best way to describe it, he basically just covers stupid things going on in the internet. I don't watch this guy, I don't really have an interest in watching this guy, but he definitely, I definitely understand why some people uh, like his content, because he just kind of covers things that a lot of people would find stupid. But anyway, he made a video about a channel uh, called the Robloxer2238 a couple months ago that I saw, and in that video, he covers one of those Sammy Classic Sonic fans, Super Minecraft Kid, like channels, um, in 2021. So, that definitely says that there is still a market for it. The video he made is called The Biggest Quackity Hater and has 255,000 views, so it definitely did uh, pretty good, especially by my standards. Now, I recommend if you do want to watch videos about this, that you also do some research for yourself about this channel instead of just watching his video and going on about that because there is definitely more to discover if you check this out for yourself so this channel the robloxer space 2238 uh 92 subscribers uh what well, looks like eight videos from welcome to my channel to i hate mr beast trailer uh, to my response to Pancho to why I hate Quackity HQ. The final of which is his most famous, uh, why I hate Quackity HQ, um, where he talks about a YouTuber who is now, I guess, a part of w Relate to Dream in some way, I don't know. This is definitely his largest video and has 2.4 thousand dislikes and 18 thousand views. Description of like this video if you agree with me, Roblox for the win is a awesome description and <laughs> I, I personally am a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of this channel and the uh, content in this video where he basically, the Robloxer goes on about why he hates Quackity HQ who if you, again, are have been on YouTube for a while and used to watch, like, channels like Quackity HQ, then you will remember that Quackity made a bunch of videos way back in, like, 2015 about Roblox and why he doesn't like Roblox. So, you know, that attracted people like this who didn't take so kindly to that type of criticism about their game. And you can always count on people to white knight for just random corporations. So it's obviously just stupid and dumb in every way. The game he's playing in the background in that video is some like food fight Roblox game. Um, and it's, it's kind of funny. Um, the uh, latest video he's made though is one of the most interesting ones. My response to Pancho where he actually made a response to this guy. The description says this is war if Pancho doesn't step up to the mic so you know he's being serious. And the pinned comment is by a channel called Uncle Frunkus. Who said WTF? This video looks like it was made in Iraq. For real though, great video. 
Definitely, definitely agree with Uncle Frunkus there. I would never disagree with Uncle Frunkus. So it's pretty funny though that these type of channels still kind of get some sort of relevancy. Although this Robloxer channel is not very big, as I mentioned before, 92 subscribers isn't like incredibly large for one of these channels. But the fact that this guy got picked up by a YouTuber with over a million subscribers now is definitely, I guess, an impressive feat if you want to consider it a good thing for the- I don't know if this would be a good thing for this guy. I don't know him. I'd love to talk to him though. I think I have- there's a lot I'd want to, you know, poke his brain about. It might perhaps even be worth it to, in the future, make a video delving more into, uh, this channel because there is a- there's a lot to discover here. Um, I would use the example of it's, uh, kind of like this, uh, weird sort of Chris Chan type thing, but um, A, I don't know actually that much about Chris Chan, so I can't really make that comparison, and B, I can't really say that right now given what's been going on with Chris Chan. <laughs> but it's a very uh, unique channel, the Robloxer. Um, definitely appreciate the effort he put into it. Uh, I love um, his videos, especially Why I Hate Quackity HQ and I Hate Mr. Beast trailer. Now, some people may look at this and think that this is ironic. And there is a lot of reasons uh, to believe that, especially given the latest three videos, um, which consist of Psycho Dad, McJuggernuggets videos, um, Mr. Beast picture, uh, Mr. Beast picture that is seven seconds long, in which the video is just the guy saying Mr. Beast sucks, um, and then the the latest video, my response to Pancho, I don't even know what to say with the annoying orange uh, gameplay in the background. But Pancho, I don't even think he uh, noticed that it was. It could have been ironic. I don't even know if he would have cared. But he's probably not going to make another video about this. So I'll just, I guess you can just leave it there. So if you want to do your own research into this channel, um, I highly recommend it. There is many interesting things to discover here. And if you do end up going to his channel, uh, you should let me know what you thought of it. And uh, whether you are going to become a big Roblox or 2238 fan. Uh, I know which answer I'm going to go with. And anyway, I'll see you guys. Uh, as every YouTuber says, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.